this is a Zanussi 523 tumble dryer and we're going to do a strip down on it and a rebuild first thing we do is take the plug out of the wall completely that's the most important thing take the plug out if you can't see the model number on the front and you need to find it if you open the door you'll be able to identify the machine by this little plate here which has got all the details on for you to order your spare parts if you need to remove the control knob from the front there is a little button here normally you just gently press it in a little ways and turn the knob anti-clockwise just a touch and it will come out you flash the knob and it will click back out the button on this has been pushed in too far by someone and it's snapped off next thing we will do, move, do is we will remove the lid and there are two bolts here and here as you can see the bolt on the left is already missing and there's just one holding it on and there's a number seven to remove this bolt here and we can now remove the lid a little push back and the lid slides up we're now going to remove the back panel which will expose the dryer heating element and thermostats if you just want to get at the heating element which is behind here then you need to remove this panel on the back you don't have to take the lid off and there are one two three four five six seven and there's seven or eight screws there and there are three here to remove this case they're all number seven size screws for your uh, nut driver or your ratchet set when you take that panel off these are heater elements here now on this Sanusi machine I would strongly suggest that you uh, make a note of this the wiring but first of all there's only one screw holds this element in and that's in that side there it's just one Phillips screwdriver then this swings out and it's just a little latch there over here here is the wiring plugs release those two plugs there now as I said before you should also always make a note of wiring what you take off at this stage because these only go in one way we don't have to worry about uh, too much about which way the wiring goes in because there's only one way they'll go in and the way that is these two uh, wiring connectors they're just a pull pull out from that one there and a pull out from this one here next thing you have to un undo is to get that uh, wiring uh, clip there and uh, release it from there we'll just squeeze that one there push that one through and we'll release these two cables from here put that apart so now we've come to the and the back of the machine again we release the one screw Phillips from here look after the screws swing that out slightly and off it comes now on here you can see there's a lug there that fits into here this will need vacuum off and there's our heater element with your two thermostats on the back now we're going to get at the belt so what we do now is lower the machine flat on its front take out a screw one there two three and four there's a circlip with a washer underneath it on the drum on the shaft of the drum so you take your slide the circuit off with the screwdriver the cover not to lose that and then inside here at the top there are two more bolts there and there's the one bolt there and also at the bottom when we're taking the bait case off the back you can put a screwdriver in this part here and just ease that up there 
and the same with this one here these are hooks so you have to ease them out when you take the back off now that you've undone these two bolts here inside there you can now ease the top off just bring this over to one side still got your mains loop connected here go a bit closer in on this now so you can see where the belt comes obviously this is the drum now the belt on this is still in place but if you imagine that the belt is broken you put your new one on you slip it over the drum and there and over that side and then putting your belt roughly in place now here you can see there's a lot of muck on that so I'll just brush that off here so you can see what we're doing you best use a vacuum cleaner when you're doing this for the sake of speed as you can see just about the belt comes around the machine here I'm showing you the route that the belt takes it comes from off the drum over the wheel and then under the pulley on the motor and then back up to the drum now that fella there that's a start capacitor be very careful that that's not charged up I usually put my screwdriver across the pins or across some leads to make sure it's discharged because they can give you a nasty belt belt <laughs> and there we are clean this out with a vacuum cleaner and uh, a paintbrush and there you've got your new belt on these two screws here are in fact a number eight uh, for your um, socket so those two screws there are a number eight unlike all the rest here and here and inside there which were a number seven these two are a number eight when you've replaced your one two three four screws and the bearing is back in full of the shaft is back in place in the bearing you put your washer on and your circlip you can then stand the machine up we we'll now put the heater element back in place put the leads and plugs back in there there's our little lug that goes into there that comes across here and now we just put our just the one Phillips screw goes into place there and we tighten that down into place and now we can reconnect the plugs so now we'll reconnect our plugs two pins on that one and two leads on that one obviously goes in there, there. remember if you've taken photographs of any plugs that you take out of any machine you can always refer back to your photographs these plugs only go in one way that's nice and tightly in there now into this clip here which is important otherwise they'll drag on the drum and the drum will work through them and uh, you'll have uh, your fuse blown because you'll have the wires touch the drum bang that's your fuse gone and that cost you a lot of money then push our little long little clip in there and there we are, that's the heater element reconnected. Next thing we put on now is the back plate, the cover, which transfers the uh, around the machine. It goes on here with all our screws which go into there. It's important uh, to not over tighten these screws because these threads can be so easily broken you can uh, don't forget the three screws which go down the centre here not the three holding the bearing in place the three here which hold the cover in place now we'll put the lid back on remembering this locates at the front 
do these sliders here which go onto these latches on the lid here and there we are now as I said at the beginning we've only got one screw at the back because there was one missing on the machine and these go in here so locate these in the holes just here and here these are all number seven screws careful not to tighten them too much otherwise you will strip the thread on them final part of the assembly is our knob and we just give it a turn find out where it should drop into place there we are and give it a little turn and there we are it's locked in now to, to take this knob off as we did at the beginning it's like turn anti-clockwise and it comes off okay lock it into place clockwise you always turn these clockwise never anti-clockwise and uh, as I've said before there should be a little button there which you can push with um, the tip of a pen a tiny little tiny screws off just push it gently and not very far because otherwise you'll snap the button off the arm which someone has already done and it's very delicate so be very careful with that there's our timer and we'll have we'll have a quick look at the dust filter here which is not bad got a bit of dust in the bottom we'll clean that out in just a moment and now we've reassembled it it's finished we can now test it out and remember you must always unplug your machine first before you do anything to it um, I'm going to pat test this machine I will be stripping this machine down again servicing it probably with a new belt on it uh, clean all the muck out, reassemble it, I'll pat test it, um, I am a, I'm a pat tester anyway. Anyway, so let's get on to this, we'll just give it a check now. Switch it on. There we are. Check the heat's coming out. And there we are. There's that machine. All done and dusted. Well, hope this was some some use to you. Um, give us a like on the little button. These are all free videos. Doesn't cost anything to give it a like. And if you want to keep up to date with uh, everything we're doing for different machines, um, please subscribe to my channel. But do give us a like. And if you've got time, just click on the subscribe button. It's all free. Bye for now.